the next formal language is a relational calculus so as i told you previously we have two flavors in this one one is a tuple relational calculus and the other one is a domain relational calculus so here in a tuple relational calculus so we will be having a tuple variable so this tuple variable is our final output so this output depends upon the formula that we are going to specify in the query so in detail we will be discussing about the uh, synthesis and all and the same way here also in domain relational calculus so we will be having a domain variable which will be our output based on the uh, based on the formula which is evaluated to true so here in calculus so we have uh, variables constants comparison operators logical connectivities and quantifiers so all these things okay uh, all together so we can form uh, we can form a queries in a tuple relational calculus as well as a domain relational calculus so here this tuple relational calculus uh, variables range over tuples and whereas in drc they range over domain elements So I come to this uh, first one that is a tuple relational calculus. So in tuple relational calculus, so see here, so this is the basic syntax which we are going to uh, write in this uh, tuple relational calculus. T such that P of T. As I told you, T is a tuple variable and P of T is a formula which evaluates T to a true. If this condition, if P of T is true then that a record or tuple will be stored in the in the left side one, that is t so whatever whatever the tuples are evaluated to true so those uh, results will be stored in the tuple variable called capital t and here when i come into in detail when we take uh, when we will be discussing about what is P of T. So, what formulas we can include in this P of T? So, formula is recursively defined, starting with the simple atomic formulas and building bigger and better formulas using the logical connect connectivities. So, these are the formulas which we can include in P of T. That is, so R belongs to rel here r is it is uh, is, a, is a tuple variable so which belongs to rel so rel is nothing but a relation name relation name or r dot a of s dot b here r and s are the relations so here s is also a relation it's not a tuple variable and here uh, a and b are the respective or uh, are the attributes of uh, respective relations r and s here r dot a of constant so you can have an attribute name here an operator followed by a constant value here you can see in the both the sides both the sides we can have the attribute values so this uh, so all these three are atomic formulas which can be included in, in P of T and here OP stands for operators less than greater than equal to these operators can be used in the formula apart from this one so we have few more um, notations here to include in the formula negation P P and Q P or Q where P and Q are formulas at the same time we are going we are we can also use quantifies it there exists and for all, for all. so this uh, so here we can use the quantifiers and we can also write the formulas and all. so we'll take one small example here so how we are going to write um, in this calculus and uh, tuple relation calculus see the first uh, first query find all sailors with a rating above 7 find all sailors with a rating above 7 
so here so yes such that s belongs to sailors and s dot rating greater than 7 so here whatever the tuples are there in the sailors so they will be copied to this capital s and now here you will be having a list of records or a list of tuples and each tuple okay we will be comparing with this so now s dot rating s dot rating so here you will be having uh, value and this value will be compared with uh, this constant value if the condition is true then the respective tuple the respective tuple in s will be copied into this uh, tuple variable called capital s which is the left side of the such that symbol so like that again i'll take another uh, another rating value from the s and I'll compare with the constant value 7. So if the condition is false, then I'm not going to copy any tuple from this S yes to this tuple variable S. Yes. So we, oh, if that means here, so this is so this is all P of T. So if the condition is true, the condition is true, then that uh, tuple variable uh, tuple values will be copied into this uh, tuple variable S. Yes. So now we go for another query. Find sailors rated greater than seven who have reserved boat ID one zero three. So here we are going to refer uh, for two tables. From two tables we need to retrieve the information. So rating information from sailors and the boat ID information from reserves table. So we will see how we are going to write this query. Now here what we are going to do here is so we are going to apply. Uh, we are going to filter here the records from both the tables and we are going to join the tables here. See it. So you just uh, take this part. First we will discuss about this part and then we will go for the later one. So in the first part what we are going to do here is. So we are going to uh, filter, uh, filter the records in sailors based on the rating. If rating is greater than 7, only those records will be stored in the tuple variable. So here we have and so we are taking uh, so there is for some R belongs to reserves. R dot SID is equal to S dot SID. So here what we are going to do, we are going to perform a join operation here. We are going to join this reserves.sid with the sailors.sid. After joining, then we are going to perform, not after joining, so and this un end condition and r.bid is equal to 1. So here, first you will filter all the records from the uh, reserves table where bid is equal to 103. So so after getting the intermediate results so then you are going to perform this join operator now here we are having some intermediate output and here we are having an intermediate output now these two are going to join based on these condition so getting my point here so here we are filtering based on the rating greater than 7 and here in this table i am filtering based on bid is equal to 103 so here I will get intermediate results and here I will get intermediate results. Now I want to get uh, uh, sailors information like sailors name or some other thing. So for this what I need to do, I need to join these two. If I join these two tables that is uh, sailors and reserves, then only I can get the final output. So like this we can uh, take in a number of examples in our test group. we have a lot of examples so we can go through uh, as an exercise. Now community is a domain relational calculus. In domain relational calculus as I told you 
so everything is almost the same with the tuple relational calculus so there we deal with the tuples and here we deal with the uh, domain values and all so uh, so when we compare with the uh, trc tuple relational calculus so this is the capital t and this is a p of t so there t is nothing but tuple variable and here x1 x2 to xn are domain variables so now here this p of t if you evaluate this uh, p of uh, domain variables then you are going to get uh, the output here so this is your desired output and this is your formula okay so everything is same so in so here whatever the atomic formulas we are going to include everything is same as your previous uh, trc as i told you everything is same so here we can use so in previously we have taken r belongs to r name so here so our name x of y or x of constant value here op is nothing but operators less than greater than equal to all this so apart from that so we have additionally another atomic formulas you can see here so we will directly we'll move into the example find all sailors with a rating above 7 find all sailors the rating above so, so in relation of algebra how we are going to write yes such that yes belongs to sailors and s dot rating greater than seven so here how we are, we are going to specify the domain names here so here i stands for sid s name rating and age So here and this INTA belongs to sailors and T greater than seven. so here if I want only a specific only sailor names if I want to retrieve then I will put only N here so if I want only uh, sailor IDs if I want to retrieve as my output then I go I will put only I here I such that INTA belongs to sailors and T greater than 7 that it is going to display only sailor IDs so as my question here is find all sailors with a rating above 7 that means whatever the information is there whatever the column names are there in this sailors so all the um, all the domain names or column names i need to specify here so this is how you are going to take this example so this is another example which we are taking uh, find sailors rated greater than 7 who have reserved boat 103 See here. So I N T A. I want all the sailor information here. The same thing I am representing here also. It belongs to sailors and T greater than seven. This is one part. So this retrieves all the sailors who has rate uh, whose rating is greater than seven. So now here I want the same person so who have re uh, who have reserved one zero three. I want. So 103 I require. So for this, what I'm going to do? So here, so BR is nothing but um, boat uh, boat ID in results table. Boat ID in results table equal to 103. This is the condition here which I'm going to specify, and this is the join condition. Join condition. So this IR indicates that uh, SID in the results table, and this I is. Uh, uh, SID in a sailor table. So this is the joint condition, and this is the um, boat ID condition. And now here, so here uh, this is a, a results I have SID, results boat ID, and this is the day. So these are domain variables and now here this uh, variables belongs to results and ir is equal to i and br is equal to 103 so now here you are going to filter the con uh, records here and you will get one uh, intermediate uh, results 
and here also you are going to filter the records and you are going to get intermediate results and with the help of this join condition with the help of this join condition this intermediate results and this intermediate results will be combined and finally you are going to get an output and our output will be INTA I mean uh, sailor's ID sailor's name rating and age so this is how we need to we, we can write the same queries we can write in relational algebra in a tuple relational calculus domain relational calculus and the structured query language okay. so uh, so generally in uh, university exams also we will uh, so they may be they, they'll keep asking uh, they will they'll give uh, queries and they'll ask you to write in various languages and we need to write and we need to explain so how we are going to uh, write a how you are going to frame a query and how you are going to so here the output will be same in whatever the language you are going to write the output should be same here so this is uh, the another examples here <coughs> so here in this example so um, we are going to join three tables here sales results goods why because